Hey everyone, it's Joe from Multisport Mindset. Today I'm going to show you how to make any throwing drill fun and interesting. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to compete in a throwing challenge where if I fail, I'm going to take a pie to the face. To make any throwing drill fun and interesting, we can manipulate the constraints of the activity, which in this case is the size, shape, and weight of the ball being thrown. By changing the size, shape, and weight of the ball being thrown, players can learn to maximize their velocity, increase their accuracy, and improve their mechanics. These skills are maximized because anytime the constraints are manipulated, the athlete needs to be adaptable and make the self-adjustments and corrections necessary to hit the target. This improves the coordination and consistency of their mechanics, which allows them to produce more force, hit the target more often, and provides a fun challenge. When manipulating the objects being thrown, you don't only have to throw baseballs. There are plenty of objects, such as footballs, medicine balls, and frisbees, that can give you great feedback. For example, when throwing a football, in order to throw a spiral, you need a nice, smooth, tight, clean arm action and a good release point for it to go in the direction that you want it to go. If it doesn't, that means that your release point is off, maybe your arm slot is a little bit long, your body's movements aren't in sync. With the medicine ball, if you want to produce maximal force and chuck this ball hard and far accurately, you need to have the correct sequencing of movements to do that. If you're throwing the frisbee, when you chuck that frisbee and it starts taking off like this, is it going way to the left or way to the right? Those are all things that you can consider that give you specific visual feedback regardless of how your mechanics feel. Throwing is throwing regardless of the object being thrown. Our ultimate goal will always be to hit the target. Plus, throwing different objects is super engaging and just plain fun. Don't knock it till you try it. The more tools that you have in your toolbox, the more problems you'll be able to solve. The main key teaching point when changing up the size, shape, and weight of the ball is to make whatever adjustment is necessary to consistently hit the target. As the player gets closer and closer to hitting that target, their mechanics will improve because accuracy and better mechanics go hand in hand. With that being said, get to the ball quickly, throw the ball hard, and give 100% effort. Anytime the the size, shape, or weight of the ball is changed, it's going to be a challenge. But keep in mind that better by definition is different and you get out of it what you put into it. When the size, shape, and weight of the ball is changed, the athlete must adjust their arm slot, their release point, possibly their grip on the ball, how hard to throw the ball, the way they move their body. This not only allows the athlete to become their own best coach so they learn faster, but along the way, they learn to maximize their velocity, increase their accuracy, and improve their mechanics. Okay, now we're onto the challenge. The balls are set up in a zigzag pattern they were randomly picked by Kristen, so I had no say in which balls I prefer. I'm going to have 25 seconds to throw 10 balls and hit that target a minimum of six times. And if I fail, I'm going to take a pie to my face. Let's get after it. I don't win the challenges often because I want to show you how hard the skills can be and how competitive we need to be. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to Multisport Mindset for more ways to improve your athleticism and in-game performance. Championship, baby.